Uh, we're down here, down South End Farm, with my boy Jack. Uh. And today it's my rod versus Eve's rod now. He's, uh, we're in competition who can catch the most fish today. Jack's decided to have a 40 mil halibut pellet on, just in front of this tree here. And I've got one just a little bit out in the middle. He's had about four beeps already. So, uh, put that here and I'll put this camera on it. <coughs> It's just a matter of time. There you go. <coughs> oh, the sun's gone in now, isn't it? They just had a little drop back there on the right hand rod. Um, I don't know if his fish close in. I've got my one back leaded on the left hand side. Jack's one's on the right hand side. And Jack says it's the ducks or it's a brain. And Jack says his batteries is going. <laughs> But the place is absolutely packed here today. There's not one swim open. We've never fished this swim before. I don't know if you can see, but there's no way to really cast out. I have to try and cast through that gap to get out there, so it's a bit tricky. And, um, yeah, it's absolutely packed here today. Some bubbles out in the middle where mine is. Like I say, if I start catching out in the middle, and you're not getting anything there. What would you, what would you do? You want to put your rod out in the middle as well, yeah? yeah. So that's it. So follow suit. Like if I start catching from there, think to yourself, right? Well, I'll put one out there as well. If you start catching down there, I'm going to end up putting one over there. So it's vice versa, isn't it? <coughs> but in this sort of weather, you don't leave the bait out too long because you bring it in and it won't be on the hook because huh. it would have uh, melted. Because the hot weather, they melt quicker, they do. Mm. They'll dissolve. But last time I was here, I was trying a zigwig out as well, one that floats in the water, with yeah. a bit of green and yellow foam on it. But only one fish come out that whole day. And that was me who caught it. So it was like, it was hard. So there's some bubbles right there, look. See, it's just there. It's just about everyone coming in, drawing them in, Give, giving them a little food trail to come in on, isn't it? So just sort of like, put one there, and then bring them in closer to your bit. Let's get that coat. Oh, I don't let you go. Alright. Yep, well done. Spot on. Mm. That's it, we've got to try and get them in this area and then hold them with all this bait. Once all this bait's here, they'll all start eating in there, holding in here. Dance the night away, Let's put radio on. That bream. Stop breaming me off, man. <laughs> I'm just getting a little bites on the rod there. Jack said it bream, but it is a backdrop.
be much sure Rod's going to scream off in a minute, mate. Same bite alarms as us, around here. Just been over the calf. Got a little sausage sarni, bacon sandwich, two cups of tea. Lovely, mate. Best, best food around this area is in there. Beautiful farm food. Fresh bread, isn't it? It's been baked from the farm. How about that? You can pay extra for it, but can't, mate. It's better than some one pound shitty fucking burger van sausage, you know what I mean? And they look like long 12 inch sausages. You know, sausages ain't that long normally, innit? It? It's like normal little fat sausages. That's how it should be. And that's how you catch a sausage sandwich. <laughs> and later on we'll be showing you how you catch a cheeseburger and chips. <coughs> Losing nothing but my mouth and fingers. Ready to come up yet, is she? Oh, she's going like a madman, isn't she? That's it, be careful. She's a nice size. That's it, go on, go on. Got her. Well done, mate. That's number one to Jack. I just put your rod down there. Like that. And I'm going to take the film for a minute, just film me, I'll get it out, put it over there and have a look here, yeah? Yeah. Well, she swallowed this. Keep that covered. Forceps. Get them in the mouth to get that look out. She has absolutely swallowed it. Sorry, Joe. Get over 
tidy all that line up in a minute. Let's see how much line is around this fish. It's ridiculous. I'll try and get all this line out of the way. Make sure that fish does flap about, Jack. I see a good boy. Yeah, look, see how the lines, all this line damaged the fish. But, poor little bastard. What I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly cover him and put some carp kit on him. body one on that fin, on its fins, that was horrible. Turn it over. Oh, oh, oh. Bit on its bit on its body there. And we're gonna put a little bit in its mouth. That bond you a star. There you go. Make you nice and better. Yeah. So that's the old cord I carp here. Put that on her. Well done mate. Nice little, little eight pounder. We just saved it from all that line. Well, you see how much line's back around it? Yeah. When we come back in the water, don't drop your phone in there, mate. All right. Alright, okay. Just the one so far. Feeling ill I am. I'm ill again. I've been ill for the last few or four days. I've been nothing but ill this year. Constant. Done my head in. Done my kin head in. Fish right there in front, look bubbling up, mate. Come on, move over to my rod. Okay, just recast that. Check sods out in the middle. Mine's just out in front where that duck just swam past. It's about two o'clock. Nah, I haven't seen many fish. I think I've seen two fish, three fish come out. Been a bit slow down here. 